what's the optimal diet for longevity? The good news is that that clock will tell us if we're doing the right thing. And uh, we didn't know that until now. So what are the things to do? Well, the first thing that I started to do based on all the evidence was to eat less often. And I have propensity to diabetes and obesity in my family and in my genome. So I have to be extra careful. If I didn't watch what I ate, I would be probably over 200 something pounds. You were far from it. What am I, I'm, I'm 135 or something. Um, but I have to work at it. And so that means I cannot eat and I shouldn't eat three meals a day. I try to eat one meal a day if I can. Sometimes it's a bit hard with all of the work and brain activity that's going on. But yeah, that's one thing is the three meals a day with snacks in between, never get hungry. I think that's the worst for people. I know it's against what your, your mother said. And the, the old idea was that you don't want to stress out your system. You don't want to have big spikes in ups and downs in glucose because that'll stress out your pancreas and that'll lead to diabetes. But what we've learned is that, yeah, overeating is bad, but undereating is not so bad as long as you're not malnourished. You know, we're not talking about malnutrition here. We don't want particularly young kids thinking that they should sure. eat too little. But we're talking about adults here who are clearly given too much food in their lives and have access to too much food, which leads not just to obesity, but even those who are healthy, always being satisfied and never feeling hungry. It puts the body into a state of complacency. We've worked in my lab on a set of genes called the sirtuins for the last 30 years. We found them first in baker's yeast and they're in our bodies. These are very ancient genes that evolved to survive when times were tough. And we think that's why diet or healthy diets and being hungry and even exercise give us health benefits. It's why we live longer if we exercise. It's not because blood flows around the body. It's because you're turning on these ancient defenses to survive. And if we're sitting around and we're eating as, as much food as we want, and we're always in a thermoneutral zone, so we're always just perfectly air conditioned and heated throughout the year, our bodies just say, hey, great, no need to fight disease. I'm, I'm good. 